Wars are not a competition for resources. Although it may be officially presented this way as a fight for a resource, war is a competition for the right to possess a resource, a potential right. A war can be won today, but obtaining the right to a resource can come after many hundreds of years. This sorts of things has happened as well. Wars ensue when forces start to compete for the right to extract this world's resources, specifically from a certain land. Wars don't start when someone tries to snatch a resource, say, pump some oil and leave. You don't need a war for this. A classic commercial endeavor would suffice in this case. When wars ensue, it is for the purpose of obtaining a right. The resource belongs to Earth, and Earth is like a woman. A struggle ensues for the right to possess her. Not taking her just for now, but for the right to keep her forever. Respectively, here we see the forces of precisely male gods, masculine cults, light-bearing cults, they always fight for this right, the right to occupy a space by the means of their spot of light. People are just participating in these processes as tools. If you know for certain what cult forces stand behind the opposing human sides, if you understand what gods stand behind them, then the objects of their interests also become clear. What exactly they are fighting for and what it may lead to. Different cults possess different existential volumes, similar to people. Everyone has a different existential volume. Thus, one can analyze present wars from this point of view and understand who is fighting who. Additionally, one can see that they are continuing to fight as they did a thousands of years ago. Nothing has changed. Because as a rule, all the same forces are fighting, just at different degrees. Meaning that people merely act as executors, but the true war is between the forces. Yeah, it's just the amplified conceit of people that makes them think that they themselves are doing that. Can a person with a developed consciousness avoid wars? They must. It is not their game at all. If one doesn't belong to a cult that is starting a war, then it is not your game. You have no right to even participate in it, even in the name of your personal gods. Because otherwise, if you sacrifice yourself in the name of another's idea, you are actually sacrificing a part of your God's consciousness for a vicarious benefit. And this will cause them a lot of damage. This has happened often. Why do gods lose their power? Because you sacrifice for a wrong cause.